Hi everyone. Soul day 21. I messed up last time because I thought I said it was day 20 and I didn't realize it was day 21. And I wonder if my brain just didn't want to think about 21 because 21 is the multiple of 7 and that means it was 3 weeks ago. Oh wow. You can rewind to day 1 to see what. I'm just I'm sick of thinking about the C word and talking about it, yet I can't seem to keep my trap shut <laughs> about sharing stuff. I mean, not just with you. Um, I had a spa treatment today. Thus all the white, roby, white, white, all pure, whatever. <laughs> and I thought I would treat myself because apparently it's been three weeks. Uh, since my biopsies and since they told me that um i mean not confirmed but when they did all the testing and stuff that i have the c word i don't even want to say it i'm tired of saying it um i feel like your internal like clock or whatever being like knows these things whoa <laughs> knows these things I don't know what that sound is. Before your head knows, clearly, because I didn't know about this in the first place. So it's just interesting. This morning was great. And then like midday, it wasn't so great. And I'm like, okay, it's, you know, I'm treating myself right before the surgery and stuff and gonna get a massage. And I've been super good. It's still, the pandemic's still going on. So, and I'm, I'm being extra cautious, like I'm fully vaccinated, but I'm still wearing my mask. Uh, you know, there's Delta variants going around and I just don't want to get sick, A, and B, potentially push off the surgery any more than what it already is. So, um, when I got inside, well, a couple of things, I'll walk you through, which just weirded me out, like a spa experience should be relaxing and it was more contemplative for me i guess i didn't really think about the impacts of how my body was responding to the whole experience maybe it was more so my head than my body or maybe because we are one after those letters that i wrote that i mentioned yesterday or whatever day it's like every day is just blending together so i walk into the salon and or the spa and I'm there for this lavender thing. I didn't even read the description. It was just like it included lavender, which is relaxing. And the word relax was in the description and I'm like sold. I'll have it done and then get a good night's sleep and la la la, whatever. I slept pretty well last night. I was looking forward to this. So I walk into the spa and you know, they give you a locker. And I realized like, <laughs> I couldn't remember how to use it. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been to a spa, uh, partly because I just didn't go and partly because of COVID, I wasn't gonna go to a spa when, you know, first they were shut down and even now they're at much limited capacity and you know, they, they use the room and then they have the room empty for so long after they disinfect. So there, there's all these things they, they put in place, which is good. Um, but look, if you want to do spot treatments, you know, good luck because it's hard to get appointments. But this is my special treat to myself. So, yeah, it was weird when I went to go lock the locker and I'm like, I don't remember even what to do as I'm holding the card with the clear directions on it that say what to do. It just reminded me about COVID and how it's not over yet. Um, so needless to say, I read the card and figured out how to lock my stuff up. But first I just dropped it off and didn't think too much about that. Like I just had stuff in there. And then when I came back to it and saw the robe, I'm like, ooh, fluffy robe. It's so soft, whatever. And it's actually really soft but you have to undress to put the robe on. And when you're in the spa, it's like, it's a locker room basically. And you know, there's other people around you. Weirdly they're doing construction. So a lot of the stuff is co-ed, but not the locker rooms. 
But like if you go in the sauna or something, it's co-ed, which I really don't really care about. You know, I'm single. But still with COVID, I, I'm not comfortable sitting in a steam room with other people. Like I wouldn't want to wear a mask to do that, but I don't want other people to be there. So I didn't do any of that stuff. Um, but to be in a locker room, like it dawned on me as I took the robe out and I put my bag in the locker and I'm like, well, now I'm supposed to undress to put the fluffy robe on. And I haven't undressed in front of anyone except for me. And it's taken a bit, except for me, I mean like when there's mirrors around, um, it's still, it's less weird. Cause I mean, the bruising's almost all the way gone. Um, I haven't been in pain the last two days, so that's good. And I think that's solely because I'm just in a super zen vacation mode. Um, <laughs> it's not funny, I guess, but I, I ended up getting an extra night here for free because I've just been so careful with COVID and I said, please don't have housekeeping come to do my sheets and my pillows because I just want to know that they're, you know, when they do the rooms, they, they, they clean the room, they leave the room empty for 48 hours before the next guest comes in. So there's like, literally it's like sterile, like no one's touched anything. If there were COVID viruses anywhere, they'd be gone. But I came back after breakfast and my bed was made and didn't dawn on me that, wait, I have new pillows, I don't want new pillows. And I used to think, and people, not, some people would tell me, oh, you're being paranoid. It's like during COVID, no, you're not being paranoid. It was bizarre that I got COVID in March when I wasn't even social. I still have no idea where I got it from. So I'm not taking any chances, who knows? I was paranoid and then I got COVID in March. <laughs> I don't need to get it again. Anyway, yes, they, they caught me an extra night. So that was nice. Um, yeah, so I'm not as bruised and uh, there's something about the environment here where, you know, mind over matter, I'm not as sore. Um, I'm holding the selfie stick. I think I was sore the first day that I got here, um, but I'm not. There's some weird, I feel like there's, I said this, some, some weird vibe in the Berkshires that like, you know, the air is like clean and pure and whatever. And you're just like, yeah, everything is all good. I don't know. Marijuana clouds, who the heck knows? <laughs> anyway, so I'm in the locker room and I'm the type of person, if my kids are watching, you might want to pause for a second for my kids because this might be a little with TMI. But like, I'm a very open person. Um, aside from what's been happening, very comfortable with my body, whatever. So if I go to a spa, I'm not the kind of person that leaves their bra and, and underwear on because I'm like, if you're going to have a massage, you know, just like let them do their thing. They don't go there anyway, but I just don't want like, you know, stuff in the way. So just like release and let them do their thing and it's all good. Okay, kids can come back down and listen. So I'm in the locker room and I get undressed and there's no one in my little section. But I took my shirt off and that was fun. Then I took my bra off and it's all women in there, clearly, because it's the women's locker room. But I'm, I'm like looking around to see is someone coming, is someone coming? And then a group of three people came and I just, I didn't freeze. I just, I didn't want them to look. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't think this in men's locker rooms, but you know, people sneak a peek when they see someone stand there naked, you know, and I don't need anyone staring or looking funny at me because they'll wonder like, you know, is she abused? Like who knows, you know? Um, and like I said, it's been three weeks now. The bruising's not that bad and um, it's just a little bit yellowish. I mean, the marks are still there from where they put the needle in for the biopsies. Um, I still have that dimple in my right side, which she said happens, um, which I could massage out, but she told me specifically don't massage it. It's going to be gone anyway, I think. So, I mean, that part, I think. 
But it was just really weird because I'm like, here I am afraid of what strangers, not afraid, but just leery about what strangers think as I'm changing in a locker room. And I don't know how long it's gonna take me for that feeling to go away. So it wasn't just that. Um, I got undressed. I didn't have a problem with my bottom part. I'm like, you know, skirt off, underwear off, flip flops in the class, in the locker, and be on my merry way. And then when I got to the table in the room where they were doing the, not really mass massages, like a treatment thing. Um, I realized I never even read the description to see what exactly she's doing. Like the face thing was there that you put your head down into and um, she said something, I can't recall. Um, oh, she asked me if there's any like sensitive spots. I actually forgot about my FMD because I'm like, normally I say don't touch my neck because you're not supposed to have like, you know, shiatsu or something on your neck. Um, but I totally spaced about the FMD part and obviously, Hopefully my pupils are the same size. Wouldn't that suck if they weren't? Uh, are they? Mm. Uh, yeah, it didn't dawn on me about my neck. But I said to her, and I hated to even bring it up because I'm like, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Like, I just want to be here like a normal person. Except when I open my trap, whatever. Um, so I told her, I said I just had um, biopsies done. I don't think I went into more detail. I said I had breast biopsies done and my breasts are still sore. So she said, well, you're gonna start on your stomach. And it didn't dawn on me that, well, how's that supposed to work? Cause I'm not a stomach sleep. I was a stomach sleeper until bizarrely, I, I have pain underneath my left breast, which that's not, there's no cancer there. Like the pain that I actually, I mean, cancer doesn't hurt physically. Like when you have it, the treatments are a different story, but like, Aside from the biopsies, like I physically feel no different than I felt like, you know, a month ago. Um, it doesn't hurt. It's the treatments that cause stuff. Um, so yeah, so I, I said to her like, you know, I'm, I'm still sore there, whatever. And she said I have to be on my stomach or laying on my stomach to start. And she's like, well, I have a cushion or something. So I'm thinking like a wedge or something that like they use for anybody. And she comes in, granted it was comfortable with this like contraption. I don't even know what shape it is. It's kind of like a wedge, I guess. If you picture like a rectangular wedge, but it has like two scoopy things out the sides. Like it's basically like one for each boob. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's interesting. I don't even know what that would be called. <laughs> I don't even know what shape it is. <laughs> I think it's something snappy, but like, I guess the lavender, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> but I saw that thing and I'm like, geez, what a contraption. Like, I don't want to need contraptions. <sighs> like, I don't want to be different. Or oh, like not being like other people who are idiots. <laughs> um... You know, a lot of entitled people here, but I mean, it is kind of a swanky place, so. Uh, which is why when they comp unite, I'm like, okay. Anyway. So it takes some finagling to figure out this contraption thing. And like, I don't even know where I was supposed to put my boobs and that it's COVID and I have my mask on and I'm facing down. So I took the mask off. I mean, I'm fully vaccinated. I took my mask off and she's fully vaccinated. So I, when I was facing down, felt different about it when I was facing up. But I'm like shimmying, trying to get onto this thing. And I'm like, what a pain in the ass. It weirdly reminded me of the breast MRI machine. Maybe that's kind of what started it. Maybe we are truly a team, my body and I. Because the breast MRI machine, like you're on this like contraption. That's something to Google. This like thing because you do the MRI on your stomach, but it has to be elevated because your boobs are just like dangling and they have to put your arms over your head like Superman. You don't feel like Superman while you're in there. It's awkward. Um, and it's not as quiet. Like when I had an MRI of my pelvis done, you're on your back and they put you know the earplugs in and headphones on with whatever music. But when you're laying forward, 
and they put earplugs in, it's fine. But then when they put the headphones on, because you're forward, they don't really sit well over your ears because your face is kind of covered. So it's much louder um, than I expected. Oh, there's thunder. <laughs> um, anyway, so, so I got on this contraption thing, you know, face down, whatever. And I'm glad it's lavender because once I got situated, which took a bit, um, the lavender helped soothe me. You know, I'm, I'm good with my breathing and was able to inhale deeply and just like use my breath to get back in the moment. And when you're looking down, you can't see anything, obviously. I think my eyes basically were closed anyway. Um, and then she starts her thing. And again, like I said, it's been a long time since I've had a spa treatment. So I don't like remember like what they do. So she did a scrub and it was interesting to have like hands on me. Um, and, and basically scrubbing all the ickies off. And then she put like a hot towel on to get the scrub stuff off, which was nice. And then some other like I don't know what it was, I was facing down, but um, just kind of like to, I don't know, almost like a thicker sponge or something just to like wipe off any excess stuff. And that I took as being like symbolic because like she's wiping off all the bad, whatever. But the point was like, she's touching me, you know, my legs, my feet, my arms, my hands, my back. The back was hard. Um, you're surrendering yourself. Like even for a massage, it wasn't really relaxing at that point. Honestly, I mean, it's not her or, or the, the actual thing. It's just where I am right now that it really wasn't that relaxing. I hope I sleep really well out of the whole thing. But you have to surrender your body to be able to take all that in and get the benefits out of it that, you know, that you're supposed to or supposed to get. But I didn't feel that. I was just aware of everything that she touched. And then I'm thinking, well, after the surgery is done, I can't shower for three weeks. And they're looking into having a nurse come to do that because you're like, your friend shouldn't be the one to sponge bathe you because they can't unsee that, which I get. But I'm like, you almost feel like you're, ooh, thunder. <laughs> Maybe I should stop complaining. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm reflecting. <laughs> Sorry up there. I get to be quicker. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm tired. Um, so yeah, it reminded me of like the nurse having to come and, and, and clean me off. And at first I'm like, oh, it's like you're a baby. And, and it's, I don't feel like I'm a baby being washed. That's actually a comforting feeling. I'm so used to doing a lot on my own, like for myself. And it's, I mean, it's not as hard now to accept help because I know that I need it, but I'm just so used to stepping up and just doing things. And to be in a position where you can't even wash yourself. I don't even know the right word. It's, it's, I don't mean to, I mean, invalid isn't the right word, but it's just not a powerful feeling at all. And I don't want to surrender to that. I should. Um, violating. That's the word. It feels violating. That's very much how it feels. Even during spa treatment, it's like she's there to relax me but I'm feeling violated. Maybe it's the connection I have now with my body after that letter, because truly that experience was very st strong for me. But I feel like having an outside person touch me is violating. I don't know why. That's just what I feel right now. Holy crow, is it raining? Oh my God, it's lightning too. Okay, maybe I should talk fast. So that happened.
That's kind of I'm kind of weirded out right now. <laughs> I feel like that's a sign. Shut up. <laughs> oh my. I'm glad I'm inside. Um, okay, I'm going to be quick. So that happened. I felt violated. Um, I felt better. It's very hard to do this. It's like boring. Cats and dogs outside. Holy cow. Um, okay. <laughs> I had to finish. I felt violated. I feel like this is like God's way of saying shut up Jen and take it for what it's positive the positive point I should feel relaxed and I, I have to my windows are open so I have to go shut them um it's a process I don't know what to do right now <laughs> oh my gosh maybe I just needed to laugh there's only so much you can control I can't control the weather I can't control the fact that it's pouring and my windows are open. <sighs> Maybe that's my sign. I'm going to turn it off right there. And I guess I'll go back to gratitude because I haven't done that in a while. And I'm grateful that I'm not outside right now. <laughs> and I'm grateful to be in this comfy robe. And I'm... I hold gratitude for myself and my steadfastness because I know in the long term I will eventually come back and be comfortable with my body again and not to stay in the place that I was until it just started pouring a little while ago. So I'm going to stop and shut the window and not get like hit by lightning because I'm on a cell phone near the window. So, oh my. All right. That was an entertaining switch to all of this. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm going to go now. <laughs> I thought you saw that lightning. Where's the thunder? That was intense. I guess signs, you know? There it is. Okay. Oh, I can't. My bed <laughs> just shook. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get off now. All right, be safe, everyone. Bye. <laughs>